what's up y'all today's episode we're going to take y'all to one of the local hot spots around here and we're going to go take a look at some interesting wildlife and we're going to share this with you guys so stick around don't miss the fun <laughs> size they make up for with attitude they got an attitude of a salt water crocodile Woo! I'm not lying believe me I've had them I've messed with them in the past I used to have one in my facility there was a rescue they are they are tough Isn't he beautiful? I don't, 
uh, get a chance, you know, um, I don't get a chance to travel much. I would love to be able to take my show on the road and go to exotic places and film from the channel. Right now with money, that's not, a, that's not happening. Um, long story, diabetes, more health getting bad. I'm unable to do hard labor, etc. like I used to do. Um, and I was a carpenter for 30 plus years. I've been studying herpetology for uh, ever since 2001. So I'm about to show you one of the most beautiful species in that side. There you go. The Gaboon Viper. Central and West Africa. Look how gorgeous this is. This is a female. But look at the pretty color. And look how she matches it that gum bark down in that bottom of there. Awesome camouflage. Awesome. Man, you gotta love it. Here you don't see a panther chameleon. My neither is broken. <laughs> These animals are often awesome. Let's see if he does that sway motion getting his depth perception right. If you're watching these animals on TV and there's ever showing footage or if you're out in the wild and you see them and they're just standing there swaying back and forth. They're trying to get their depth perception on the target right. This guy here needs no introduction either. Try to get you a better view of them here. I'm going to pull, pull another one on y'all. Hopefully this one will be easy for you to answer. This animal is arboreal. It is an emerald tree boy. It is arboreal. Can anyone tell me what arboreal means? Get that in the next shot. Weren't those animals awesome? Yes! It is such an honor to be able to be close to these amazing animals of the world, don't you think? Still breaks my heart to have to be in places like zoos, but since those particular animals can't be turned back out into the wild, then, you know, they might as well be doing something to help educate the world of their importance, right? Isn't that right, Lion? Yeah, buddy. You just a baby. Yeah. Oh, kitty kitty. Here at Amazing Animals Around Us, sometime in the near future, Pop will be going to, as you already know, being a herpetologist, a lover of wildlife, one thing I've come to understand is, I've mentioned it before, you don't have to have your hands on these animals to appreciate why they're here. You know, you don't have to prove to the world that you're a, you, you know, you're an adrenaline junkie by picking up a rattlesnake. I've done, you know, I've done my share of picking up rattlesnakes. And, um, you don't have to do that all the time. I think we're going to, a lot of what we're going to do here at Scales and Tails is we're going to take an, a different approach. We're going to just film a world with the animals from whatever. If they're close enough, we can get you closer to to get a good look at them, 
we'll talk about them. If not, we're going to just admire them from the distance and we're going to talk about them like that. The importance is why they're here. What is their destination on this earth? Animals, wild animals, wildlife, they're designed to help the ecological system thrive. They do their part, each and every one, to help strengthen the environment, the ecosystem in which we all live with. So I think it'd just be awesome for us to be able to sit back and film them doing what they do. Doesn't matter if it's a squirrel, doesn't matter if it's an inchworm, doesn't matter if it's a whale, just sit back and film them doing what they do in our awesome world. So keep that in mind because this is coming in the future. I'm Cayman Cody. Please hit that bell. Please subscribe. Please help us get reach a thousand subscribers so we can go live with y'all out in the field. We, we've been up, this channel's been up for some time now and we're struggling and I really would like to see us hit at least a thousand subscribers. So please help, help us get our sub count up. I'm Cayman Cody reminding you that Water Life rules! And we'll see you out there. So long, everybody.